Act has refuted claims of racial harassment and segregation of Kenyans working out the Standard Gauge Railway under the supervision of Chinese nationals. The government spokesperson Eric Uraide has brushed off the allegations while warning the SGR staff who boycott work who use the social media handles to express their complaints that they risk being fired. Parallel and opposite as this rail lies is the same way some Kenyan employees at the Standard Gauge Railway operate with their bosses. It is an occupational difference between local workers and their Chinese bosses that has raised a myriad of questions on the type of treatment the government has accorded citizens vis-a-vis -vis foreigners. This is after several cases of racial harassment and irrational treatment alleged to be prepared by the Chinese bosses were spread on social media highlighting the brutality meted on local staffs at the country's new railway line, commonly known as the SGR. The government, which has the mandate to unite the two sides, however, holds a contrary opinion. And, uh, and therefore, whereas the government is at hand to protect the individual rights and dignity of every Kenyan citizen, the inward-looking Hakietu culture, Hakietu workplace culture, where it is about you, what you are entitled to, has no place in the Madaraka Express, neither now nor in future. A statement that is perceived as a way of silencing the local worker, whose first option for airing out complaints propagated by the boss is through the use of social media. We gagging the staff on so that they don't use social media to discuss the organization. Unfortunately, yes. With only one year and two months of operation, the railway line, which is one of the signature projects for the Jubilee government, has continually evoked mixed actions and reactions from different quarters, with the latest being the senior staff versus junior staff and animal versus human conflicts in areas served by the line. With the government maintaining that they are not unique occurrences, what disturbs the taxpayer more is the government's commitment in safeguarding its citizens. Domestic animals killed on the public roads, it occurs everywhere. Human wildlife conflict occur where we have reindeers, where we have tigers, where we have bears, and the world over. It is not unique, but what we are saying as a government is that everything which can be done is getting to be done to protect our national heritage. It is not long since residents of Ruiru in Kiambu County downed their tools and barricaded the road, lamenting of sexual harassment and torture from their Chinese bosses, a plea that never attracted any action. China. Wakanza kuniongereshea vibaya. Na mimi hakuna kitu ya nyanili mfanyia. Haka nipiga kofi. Puzzles still surround the standard gauge railway over the monthly expenditure of 1 billion, which is way too much as per the taxpayer. Is there truth that need to be unraveled behind the presence of the so-called Chinese investors, or will Kenyans remain at fault and them on the right as far as the government is concerned? Time will tell. Kelvin Ogome, KU TV.